All right, here we go. This one's gonna be a 41 Magnum test. Today, we have some more Underwood ammo to try out. That one is the 210 grain jacketed hollow point. So here's what that one looks like. It's actually uh, the semi-jacketed hollow point. It does have some of that lead exposed and it is the Nosler bullet. So it does have nickel plated brass and it is rated at 1,560 feet per second. So I did test one the other day, it was the XTP round. We came pretty close to that rate of velocity, so we'll see how this one does today. So we will be testing it out of our Smith & Wesson Model 57. That one does have a six inch barrel. We'll be going through our gel. That is a 10% block. We do have our jug backstop just in case we get that pass through and our four layers of cotton t-shirt on the front. So like always, we'll set up our chronograph so we can hopefully get the impact velocity. We'll see how this round does. Here we go. All right, we're stepping back to 15 feet. All right, let's see how we did on that one. Looks like our impact velocity was 1501, so definitely pretty good. Uh, that last one that we did do was 1511, so really good to see there. And it looks like we got some leakers, so definitely made it through. All right, so it looks like we got a decent entrance. We did go a little bit low, but still not too bad. You can see down in there, it's a huge, huge cavity. And let's check it out from the top. Same thing. Looks like we've got some pretty good stretch on that one. Really good looking wound channel right there. It did go all the way through. Let's see if we can get an accurate measurement. So from all the way over, we are at about three and a half inches. So definitely not the biggest stretch cavity, but still looking pretty good. And from the side, it does look like we did have a blowout. So looking pretty good there too so let's see so that one looks like same thing about three and a half inches but it looks like as soon as it came in opened up really nicely huge stretch all the way through and it does look like it carried that energy all the way through that block and we did stop it here in the second jug so that's definitely good but quite a bit of damage and it's good to see uh, over 1500 feet per second so it's definitely over a thousand foot pounds of energy so it's quite a bit let's just check it out one more time from the top nice big stretch going all the way through hopefully the camera's picking this up we can see as soon as it hit it opened up and pretty much carried all that energy through most of that block so really good to see so let's uh, pull that round and see what it looks like all right check that thing out looks like we got some awesome expansion on that thing did a uh, fragment quite a bit but man that thing opened up really nicely it's pretty impressive i did test one a while back that was uh, right around 1200 feet per second didn't do near that amount of damage so looking really good so there's what that one looks like really nice uh, mushroom and peel back on that one pretty much reach its limits so a few petals left, peeled them right over the base of that bullet, but a really nice mushroom. Major expansion though, but pretty much what you expect, over a thousand foot pounds. So really good to see. Quite a bit of fragments. Like always, we'll get our pictures, steel shots, all that good stuff here at the end. But there we go. That was the Underwood 210 grain semi-jacketed hollow point. There we go. All right, so here's that cross section for that one. Got some major damage coming in on this. This one pretty much looks like a rifle round hit it with the amount of fragmentation that happened and just all the different splits that it created in this block. There's tons of fragments in here. I pulled a few out already. And then there was tons that I found outside of the gel and the jugs and stuff. So some major, major damage coming in. So let's cut this open. All right, and here's after being cut. This bottom side is the right, this top side is the left. Um, I forgot to mention, I did remeasure that uh, the, the white at the widest point, we were right at three and three quarter inches. So it definitely wasn't the widest stretch cavity, but I really didn't get the best shot on it. But man, the amount of damage it created was crazy. 
So you can see as soon as it came in, opened up, you can see that stretch cavity would have been a lot bigger, but right here, that's where the block ended and it didn't blow out that side. But man, it just really tore this stuff up. There's a lot more little pieces in there, little fragments. Really don't see too much of that cotton t-shirt, but like this stuff is barely hanging on in here. It really messed that gel up. There's tons of little pieces. Same thing on this side, you can see where it hit. Nice wide stretch cavity throughout there. But man, I'm just, it's just crazy how bad it really messed this stuff up. Pretty impressive. So we will test both of those again. Um, the XTP, I'll put the XTP up against this uh, semi-jacketed hollow point just to see the differences. They were both about just over 1,500 feet per second, so really good to see, but uh, we'll see how they do head-to-head -head and hopefully get a little bit better shots. But man, that is just some major, major damage on both of those sides. All right, and here's one more angle where it just kind of came in and really tore everything up. Same with this side. This stuff's barely hanging on. But looking really good. Really good to see from that 41 Magnum. There we go.